Good morning and welcome to Happy Camp. Yeah, we actually made it here, um, surprisingly enough. Um, uh, yeah, we had an interesting day yesterday. Um, bit of a tough one. I'm just going to go outside for a bit because uh, um, it's uh, the light's not what, very good in here and stuff. Um, this is what we have here. Wow, look at that. Check that out. Now, the reason I'm, I haven't done many photos over the past at all because it's been tipping it down all the time. <coughs> yeah. Um, and yeah, I, a couple of times yesterday I thought I'd actually uh, lost my camera because it had missed it over and stuff. Um, yeah, sorry, yeah. <laughs> this is day, I don't know, this day, f I, what are we on? It's Sunday the 21st, I believe. Uh, uh, it's about 10.30 in the morning. Um, uh, yeah, like I say, it was a tough day yesterday. Um, we went over the um, what was it, the, uh, the Chilkoot Pass yesterday, and up the Golden. Well, I think I went up the Golden Staircase, what's known as the Golden Staircase. Uh, but everybody said at the Ranger Station, or and everybody else on the trail, uh, oh, you'll be alright. Even though there's no markers at the in the off season, which I must. Uh, which re must I? Yeah, uh, it's still early for me. <laughs> Much uh, reinforced to you that there is no markers over the actual pass, or and it's only a small section of the journey. But to go over a mountain pass with not knowing exactly where you're going, uh, and the, I did go about an hour and a half out of my way. Uh, it was kind of. I won't lie to you. It's I've, I've been over the Himalayas. Uh, but yesterday was the toughest day, endurance-wise, that I've ever, I've ever had to deal with. At one point, uh, I, if I thought the weather was actually going to get more blowy or, or the rain was actually going to get any worse, I was actually thinking of getting my tent out and, and putting it in sort of a, like a crevice in between two rocks to stay out of the wind. And uh, but yeah, obviously, uh, and I was very wet and very cold by that point. Um, uh, I should have. Um, should have uh, taken a flask of coffee with me, but didn't because I wanted to save the fuel cells for this evening. Uh, that's this evening coming. Um, uh, so, so I was more than a little weak when I arrived, uh, well, in the second valley over that way. Um, uh, hang on a minute, just check this waterfall out. It's really, it's really cool. Yeah, can you see that? I, I don't know if I can zoom in one. Well, yeah, we are still at Happy Camp. Um, I don't know if the last part of that video actually got um, <laughs> got recorded, um, uh, but yeah, the uh, the trail was tough here, and I did get lost for about 90 minutes on the uh, on the pass. Very cold, very tired, and weary when I got here. Uh, rock climbing with a backpack and a front pack is extremely awkward. I don't recommend it. Try if you if you're coming this way in off season in this crap weather conditions please try not to bother with a front pack try and pack everything in a normal backpack <clears throat> and it'll be so much easier um uh yeah uh what was it um i wanted to mention yeah yeah just basically a few things about uh um keeping dry <laughs> or what obviously you know uh, after you've got totally wet always keep a uh, a change of clothes that's in a bag if sealed in a bag in your backpack unless you've got one of those backpacks which has an actual cover which mine does but you can actually buy those covers for your backpack and I totally recommend them because it does save all your kit and most importantly your sleeping bag from getting wet you do not want to spend a night in a cabin like this which is really good uh, but I um, don't know if you can see this there is no stove in here whatsoever um, so uh, yeah basically you've got to have a dry change of clothes otherwise you, you're going to get hypothermia or, or you know something worse um, uh, but we're above the tree line there's no bears we're still in bear country but um, they shouldn't be up here because there's no salmon in the river uh, there's well there's bushes and some other stuff that they might feed on but most of the grubs down down below the tree line uh, and definitely all the other little mammals and stuff are so I was feeling pretty comfortable last night but obviously after the night previous uh, I barricaded the one door which you can see this door has got a door knob but the <laughs> the other one has got a door handle and uh, I thought well and it, obviously the door opens inwards so if he's you know doing his velociraptor thing on the outside he's gonna push in and stuff so I took put two benches 
uh, up against it and that was my bed for the evening obviously still had the bear spray and machete in in my uh, uh, bear blinding mag, mag light with me um, but yeah as it happened I didn't need it because um, uh, about an hour after I'd warmed up and was it snug in my sleeping bag eight other um, hikers turned up uh, all of which actually live in Skagway uh, Alaska which we're still in no 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 we're not in Alaska sorry I going over the past well, we actually for the last um, half day I've been in Canada Ta -da! we are back in British Columbia yeah <laughs> so yeah we're on Canadian territory haven't been stamped in or anything love it I'm illegal <laughs> um, but uh, uh, yeah the weather seems to be getting a little bit worse now so uh, I'm gonna wrap this up pretty quickly because my batteries on this are gonna die um, I've covered like staying warm and stuff Obviously, yeah, t keep a small towel on you, not one of these rubbishy um, travel towels, just a proper little hand towel that's actually, you know, normal towel stuff. And also keep that dry and use that only for drying your, in massaging your body and uh, drying your hair off. This thing, uh, keep dry, don't wear it in the day when it's raining. Obviously, have your hood up, you're gonna get wet hair anyway. Keep this for, your, for the night time uh, when you're warming up in your sleeping bag, most important. Um, uh, what else? Um, yeah, let's get some of the uh, scenery in, shall we? <laughs> we are in Canada after all. Um, yeah, so I've got some little notes today so I don't forget anything because my, my head's all over the shop at the moment. Um, energy levels I'd like to cover very quickly. Um, obviously, yeah, uh, I threw away most of last night's meal because it was absolutely awful. It's one of these dry food things. Oh, I don't recommend it do the right thing if you're coming on a trail like this find a proper hiking stop shop and uh, get some backpacker stuff the stuff with actually liquid in it it's a much tastier smelling lush meal and it will just lift your mood immediately thankfully I had um, you know my instant coffee so that was the lifesaver there um, uh, already talked about clothes and stuff um, energy bars always get at least one energy bar per day for your trail at least one plus uh, one protein bar as well that's chocolate and it's got peanuts and stuff in it um, that's important as well very important um, as as far as other food goes um, you know uh, cooking big chunks of meat don't bother with that go for more like pasta based stuff because uh, your stomach actually it takes a lot more energy to process uh, for your stomach and your digestive tract to process uh, meat and stuff so you really don't want to be using any more energy than you need to to digest stuff um, uh, hydration majorly important even though it was cold I was I wasn't shivering but it was I was really <laughs> I was close to it on the trail especially when it started to hail when I got lost and then it started to snow for about five minutes and I thought oh here we go I remember the film called uh, was it the way with Martin Sheen you know how that started um, but um, uh, anyway I'm still alive I'm very happy about that um, but hydration yeah back to that um, sip water all the time um, obviously I, I, I'm down to using my Puri tabs today so uh, yeah that's, um, I started on those uh, in the water you know one Puri tab obviously like I mentioned to one litre of water uh, but I also flavoured what was left I flavoured with the um, the effervescent tablet I'm taking one of those each day in the water just to boost vitamin C and mineral levels because uh, there's next to nothing there's no goodness really in in trail food apart from just high energy you know uh, which is all you need uh, it's really starting to bucket it down now so this is this is part three uh, um, I will see you hopefully when I've got some more batteries um, maybe in Lake Bennett maybe back in Skagway I don't know yet um, right oh, this is <laughs> yeah this is um, this is Rob Satchel in my team zoos on hat saying uh, I'll see you later. Bye for now. <laughs>